5 Effective Strategies for Conflict Resolution Title, 5 Effective Strategies for Conflict Resolution Introduction Conflicts are an inevitable part of life, occurring in various settings such as personal relationships, workplaces, and communities. While conflicts can be challenging and uncomfortable, they also PR. S and an opportunity for growth and resolution. Knowing how to effectively handle conflicts is crucial to maintaining healthy and harmonious relationships. In this article, we will explore five effect. Five strategies for conflict resolution that can help individuals navigate through disagreements and reach amicable solutions. 1. Foster open and honest communication. The first step in resolving conflicts is to foster open and honest communication between the parties involved. Clear and respectful communication allows all parties to express their concerns, feeling. S. And perspectives. It is essential to actively listen to each other without interrupting and to seek clarification when needed. When engaging in communication, using I messages rather than you messages is highly recommended. I messages imply taking responsibility for one's own feelings and experiences, rather than blammy. In others, this approach encourages a non defensive response and increases the likelihood of productive communication. 2. Focus on collaboration and mutual understanding. Conflict resolution is most effective when all parties involved are willing to collaborate and work towards a shared understanding. Instead of approaching conflicts as a win lose situation, aim for a win win outcome where everyone feels heard and their needs are considered. Practicing empathy is an important part of collaboration. Understanding and acknowledging the emotions and perspectives of others can help build trust and create an environment conducive to resolutio. And, this can be achieved by putting oneself in the other person's shoes and trying to understand their point of view. 3. Seek compromise and find common ground. In some conflicts, finding a compromise is necessary to reach an agreement. Compromise involves each party giving up something in order to meet halfway. It is important to explore possible solutions that take into account the needs and desires of both parties. To identify common ground, it is useful to focus on shared interests rather than differences. By focusing on shared goals and values, you can find creative solutions that satisfy both parties involved. D. This approach fosters collaboration and promotes a sense of fairness and satisfaction. 4. Use mediation or third-party intervention. In situations where direct communication between conflicting parties is challenging or has not yielded results, involving a neutral third party can be highly effective. Mediators are trained professi. Onals who facilitate communication and negotiation between conflicting parties. Their role is to create a safe and structured environment where everyone can express their concerns and work towards a Resolution Mediation allows for a balanced power dynamic and ensures that all parties have an equal opportunity to speak and be heard. The mediator helps clarify misunderstandings, generate alternative solution. S. And guide the parties towards a mutually acceptable outcome. This process can lead to a greater understanding of each other's perspectives and ultimately create stronger relationships. 5. Practice active problem-solving 
Conflict resolution requires a proactive approach to problem solving. In addition to addressing the immediate conflict, it is important to identify underlying issues and work towards long term solidity. Ons One effective problem solving technique is to use the win 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 approach. This method involves finding a solution that benefits all parties involved, as well as the wider community or organization. And, by considering the broader impact and finding solutions that are fair and just, conflicts can be resolved in a way that strengthens relationships and promotes harmony. The Importance of Conflict Resolution Conflicts are an inevitable part of life, occurring in various settings such as personal relationships, workplaces, and communities. It is essential to understand the importance of conflict resolutio. And then develop effective strategies to navigate through disagreements and reach amicable solutions. In this article, we will explore five such strategies that can help individuals resolve conflicts f. Effectively. 1. Foster open and honest communication. The foundation of conflict resolution lies in fostering open and honest communication between the parties involved. Clear and respectful communication allows all parties to express their concerns, fe. Feelings and perspectives. Active listening without interruptions and seeking clarification when needed are crucial elements of effective communication. Using I messages instead of you messages helps create an atmosphere of non defensive response and promotes productive communication. I messages imply taking responsibility for one's own feeling. S and experiences without blaming others. This approach encourages empathy and understanding amongst conflicting parties. 2. Focus on collaboration and mutual understanding. Successful conflict resolution requires all parties to collaborate and work towards a shared understanding. Conflicts should not be approached as win-lose situations, rather, the aim should be a win. We now come where everyone feels heard and their needs are considered. Practicing empathy plays a significant role in collaboration. Understanding and acknowledging the emotions and perspectives of others foster trust and create an environment conducive to resolution. B. Why putting oneself in the other person's shoes and trying to understand their point of view, conflicts can be approached with empathy and a willingness to find common ground. 3. Seek compromise and find common ground. In some conflicts, reaching a compromise becomes necessary to find agreement. Compromise involves each party giving up something to meet halfway. It is crucial to explore potential solutions that con. Cite are the needs and desires of both parties. To identify common ground, focusing on shared interests rather than differences is useful. By concentrating on shared goals and values, Creative solutions that satisfy both parties can be found. This approach promotes collaboration, fairness, and satisfaction. 4. Use mediation or third party intervention. When direct communication between conflicting parties becomes challenging or ineffective, involving a neutral third party can be highly effective. Mediators, who are trained professionals, facilitate communication and negotiation between conflicting parties. They create a safe environment where everyone can express their concerns and work towards resolution. Mediation ensures a balanced power dynamic and equal opportunity for all parties to speak and be heard. 
mediators help clarify misunderstandings, generate alternative solutions, and guide parties to Aren't a mutually acceptable outcome. This process deepens understanding and builds stronger relationships. 5. Practice active problem solving. Conflict resolution requires a proactive approach to problem solving. Besides addressing the immediate conflict, it is important to identify underlying issues and work towards long term solutions. Using the win-win-win approach is an effective problem-solving technique. It involves finding a solution that benefits all parties involved as well as the wider community or organization. Consider I. In the broader impact and finding fair and just solutions strengthens relationships and promotes harmony.